Hi, my name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller, and this is going to be haul two of an online estate sale that I went to three about three weeks, four weeks ago, um, where we bought, filled about half of our trailer with mostly vintage advertising stuffed animals and other advertising items. Um, I'm just going to, I've pulled two of the bags. I probably had a total of 12 to 15 bags. Um, and I'm just going to go through them. It's like Christmas for me because I haven't seen this stuff since we initially purchased the items. And many of these lots, all I could see was like the top layer of the um, items that were in the lot. And so a lot of this, I didn't even know I was bidding on until I went there to pick it up or that I had purchased until I went there. So without, what is it, further ado, further let ado. me show you some of the stuff from these two bags. Like I said, almost all of this is advertising stuff. So this is the Trix Bunny. He does need a bath. He is larger size, probably what, 15, 16 inches. Very cute. And then I do remember these. I specifically bought this lot because I wanted these bears, but there was a whole series of these bears. Let me see who they're by. They're Graphics International. This one's 1987s, and it was from the Mars Company. So I have this one, which is um, the Milky Way Bear, and he does have his paper tag. I think they're split into a couple of bags, so I won't be able to show you all of them. This is the Butterfinger Bear. This bear, oh, it's Bear Factory. More than likely something like this, I'm going to take the outfit off and sell it separately. Oh, I think I showed this in my sneak peek from the trailer. This is Milk Bone, and it's the Beethoven dog from the movie. It is Dakin. It is dated 1993, and it is still in its bag. So you can see it's milk bone bone this is gooned um i'm trying to see what company oh the zales i'm pretty sure i've had this before so very cute though this is triple a travel outfitters a dog with that shirt on and here's its tag it is i guess in conjunction with toys r us very soft very cute i'm not even going to try to quote any of this stuff because more than likely for a lot of these things i may be the only one listed and there may not be any solds so i'm just sharing my treasures with you this was so cute and it was another one of those surprises I'm gonna peel this sticker off hopefully it won't ruin the shirt or the bib these were the stickers that came on the lots I probably should have gone through this stuff earlier so maybe I thus things might be damaged from them but this is Reebok teddy bear he's got his little hat his running shirt numbers on his shirt and I'm trying to see if there's a date on this. It is by Arco Toys, which was part of the Mattel Company, 1998. Here's Hershey Kisses. It's really seen better days. Not sure if I'm going to be able to salvage that one. Here's some of the M&Ms. I have bags of M&Ms. Nobody was bidding on them, and I just, I got huge lots for one and two dollars so there's going to be a whole lot of these even if they sell for five or six dollars holy heck we have probably a thousand items yeah. that's yeah this i'm not seeing a, anything on it but it is drug emporium so probably a local drug store or something like that yeah, what's the drugstore? <laughs> All right. I'm going to 
take him out of the bag. This is Warner Bros. Bugs Bunny. I'm trying to see Mighty Stars. I find these every once in a while. This one's in very nice condition. His little whiskers are even nice still. These were all from an adult person's collection. I'm assuming, you know, and this was the third auction um, from that estate. They, um, you had to cross this bridge to get to their house. And he said it got washed out during a storm. So they had to wait like six months to finish the estate while they redid the bridge. Um, and I can't even imagine the stuff that I missed in the first two because I didn't, I didn't notice the ad that came through Facebook and I didn't open it up. And, but I did on this third one. So another M&M. Oh, quite a few. Here's some more. Just, I'm sure. I made lay all of these out and try to get similar ones together and make lots. These are all dull stuffed animals. There's pineapples, bananas, apples in here. And I'm pretty sure I have more to this set. But here's a set of four. This is a Hershey's Bear. I, I think I actually just listed one of these like in the last week. So I may put them together if they're similar. Oh. oh I'm so excited. All right, this is... I don't even know. New in the bag, Willy Walrus. Making lots of noise, but I can't read the company on the suspenders. But very cute, still in his bag. Got some bees. Oh. I'm speechless. This is the lot I talked about in a previous video. I'm going through all of this stuff. I have a huge pile, and these are all the original Dairy Queen, I think Hanna-Barbera, uh, plush, and they're all still in their original packaging. I don't think I've even seen this one before. More than likely, I'm telling you, I've got, there's the horse. Here's the, I don't even remember his name. Do you remember his name? He was with the Yogi Sad Yahoo, Sam or Sad Somebody. But look, I have all of the characters. I'm hoping that this is like way over like fifty to a hundred dollars. That that's that's where my gut's going when you find vintage toys still in their packaging. Underdog? I don't think so. I don't know Wait, I'm still I not watching, done. I remember watching him on Saturday mornings when I was a kid. Yep. Here's two more. And then here's two more. So I don't know if I've got the whole series or not. I'll have to do some more research on this. I'm not sure if he was in the previous video, but here's another one of them. This is Opus, and it says Holiday Hotel, Dakin, uh, 1985. So I have two of these with the little cute shower cap. This just says Blair Shop Gift Gallery. It's a teddy bear still in its bag. Look how cute. This is Hamilton Gifts, 1990, and it's Tom and Jerry. Huckleberry Hound. Huckleberry Hound. I finally found him. He's been over here on his phone the whole time trying to figure out who that one character was that I pointed out. This one. Huckleberry Hound. Here's a few more Hershey Kisses. These are in nice condition. So they'll probably go together. This, yeah, this is Avon. It's a teddy bear. Kind of a jester or a clown. You know, it looks like some people are getting like, I'll cut this out, but like 10 bucks a piece. For, for them? The, yeah, some of them In the package? Some, 
in the package. Some of them not in the package for 10 bucks. So, well, that's good. Still, I might put mine all on there for a hundred. This is something I did not know I was getting. This is Goldberger toys. And it's, he looks like he's a puppet of some kind. Seriously. Howdy doody. Oh, Howdy Doody. Come on now. I'm not I'm not showing my age. You, yeah, I would say he's from your youth, not mine. Uh-huh. But At least I, I can't think that's read. Howdy Doody. It does look like him now that you've said not, that. That's, yeah. I never watched him. But it's by Goldberger. I don't know how I think it had a string there and it's not there anymore. But how cool is that? Oh. Here's the mouse that goes with from Tom and Jerry. So those are two will definitely have to go together. This looks like a treasure. I don't even know yet. I'm trying to see if there's a tag. Curious Which, George, come on now. Do you think it's Curious George? Sure looks like Curious George. I don't, to me it kind of almost looks like a girl, but I don't know. But it could be a vintage Curious George. Well, how cute. It looks like it, no. Is that like a tennis skirt? I don't thing? know. It does. But, but kind of like panties. I don't know. Hopefully Google Lens will be my friend. But obviously very, very old. All right. And there's quite a few um, more M&Ms. And I'm telling you, I've got a huge bag of them. But I'll just kind of show you some of them. Look, kind of looks like Elvis. Some more, some more. Got a couple of more of those breakfast bunch, not in their bags. Is that snap? Yeah, these are both crackle from Snap Crackle Pop. Oh, here's Pop. Let's see if we can find Snap. Not seeing it. This is, ooh. This is Gerber products, and I'm only ooing it because it's got some terry cloth. And you know me, I always think terry cloth is ka-ching, ka-ching, but I don't know. But this is very cute. It's got a little zipper. Don't know. Never seen it before, though. Here's an M&M bear with a denim jacket. It just says gallery. How cute is that? Some more M&Ms. I never did find Snap Cracker Pop, their friend. Here's another A&W. So if it's not the same one I've shown recently, um, then I'll put these two together. Another breakfast one, Tony the Tiger. And then here's another one, the Rooster. And then Boyd's Bear in the midst of all of that. And then just some more of these. All right, let me get the other bag ready. I've had these before. It's opened at the bottom, State Farm Bear. These enthused me, and I did buy this bit on this lot for these. These are Dole, this is Piney Pals, Jam and Joey. I have quite a few of these in this series, the, the Dole fruit. I've got the pineapple, some kind of banana mole, another pineapple, a different pineapple. How cute. Uh, I think that's all I see right now. I've got another couple more State Farm Bears. If they're all the same, or, you know, I'll make some kind of lots. Like, these two may go together because they're different colors. Oh, 1987 McDonald's. It is still sealed in its bag. It's one of the, I forget what they were called. Those little... <sighs> Looks kind of like that big hairy monster from Bugs Bunny. 
but, but it, I know oh, it's, not. it's not. But that's what it looks like, kind of. But very nice, still in the bag. Holy cow. Here is a Tyson chicken plush, still in its bag. <gasps> Look! At the duck from McDonald's, also 1987, still in its bag. <gasps> Wait! It gets better! It's Grimace, still in his bag. So, depending on what the comps show on these, they'll either be together or I'll sell them separately. This must be the State Farm Bear bag, because here's some more. That's like five, I think. This is Shoney's, but it's a rabbit. 1997. Very cool. Uh-oh. I have none. Oh. Yeah. I must have won a Shoney's in lot. Because in State Farm. Here's some more State Farm. Here's a Shoney's bear. This is National Geographic's. Polar bear. Oh, here's some more. Here's another pineapple from the Dole line. And then this is, it says, Pinosaurus. So, again, I may do lots or I may sell them separately. Harcourt Math. That's the one of the books that they use curriculum in schools. Here's another Pampers. I think I had a different one earlier. And another State Farm Bear. One of the Chippendale puppets. It's still got its tag. Oh, it's Rescue Rangers. more Shoney Bears. Well, some more Shoney Bears. And some more Shoney Bears. Hard Rock Cafe. It says Washington, D.C. on the jacket. So very cute. And then this is just says Green Dog. Not quite sure what that goes to. Carter's ra um, Rabbit Rattle. Oh, I see it now. Diflucan. A little dolphin plush. Heck, maybe it's going to be as good as the, the coffee cups we've already sold. I wish. Some more Shoney Bears. This is a bank. Another Protonics. I have the coffee cups that go with this. This is I've had this before. Wallace Berry, um, the eagle for, I think, one of the Olympics mascots. A Walmart card bear. Looks like just a, some other drug company stuffed animal. And then here's a baseball Claritin plush. How cute is that? Learning. Oh, Flonase. Oh, here's Prevacid. I must have a bag that's full of now the drug type uh, plush. What is that thing? I don't know. Oh, it's a, it's a stomach. Oh, yes. Let's hold it the right way. Prevacid, you know, the medicine for indigestion and stuff. This is 
a lion with the dare t-shirt on. Oh, sorry. Here's Infasurf. Must be another drug. Plush. This is Homewood Sweets. Duck. Sally Beauty. Yeah, Zithromax Zebra. I've seen these before. VLC and Anchor Company. Oh, he's a Digger Gopher. Oh, same company. This is Polly Roger from the same series. Oh, I think this is too. This is some ducks in a row. Oh, and I, I must have a whole series from that whatever the company is. This is the Great Whites Chomper. So all of these have been from the same series. This is Planet Hollywood. Patty Patinol. Must be eye medicine. Another bank for Shoney's. Another one of the Prevacid stomachs, but still in its bag. Ah, we have the cup. This is a Biaxin. We have the cup with the, the teeth marks out of it. So this is Bix, the Biaxin dog. Some more Shonies. Pediacare. I'm hoping all of this uh, drug-related stuffed animals is going to be as popular as the cups were. Maybe for not as much money, but still move right away. This is Arthrotech. Novalin. Just more Cedax. Suprax. Elicon. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Some more. Sun. This is Roto Shield. Oop, I even have a car. Shoney's. Little Hot Wheels like car. I guess that's keyword scamming. I won't use that. Don't use Hot Wheels if it's not a Hot Wheels. You don't need a Vero. All right, just a few more little things. Just more drug advertising. Infamil. Oh, look. It's got Beatrix Potter on the back. And then Arthro something. Arthrotech. All right, I think that's it. That's been four bags that I've gone through and that I now have the opportunity to go ahead and get this stuff processed and listed and hopefully start seeing sales from this enormous haul that we did. Um, my husband's going out of town this week, so I wanted to get these done quickly so that I would have lots of stuff to keep me busy so I won't be pining over him. It's like that's going to happen <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.